to my kitchen. My name is Rebecca, and this is Trees Tasty Treats. This episode, we're making my grandmother's recipe of guacamole, or as I'd like to call it, guachu pichu. Let's get started with the ingredients. You want to go, you want to start off with some cilantro, three tomatoes, an onion, a lime, a jalapeno, and three ripe avocados. Some spices you'll need are paprika, coriander, and cumin. Let's cut up all these vegetables and we'll get right back to you. Yourself on the second Wednesday of every month, hungry and wanting to go out? Try going to Tabernacle Methodist Church, where Boy Scouts from 228 help serve and prepare a Wednesday night dinner every second Wednesday of every month. Let's go inside and see what they're cooking. Good to see you here again. Trees Tasty Treats. While you were gone, we diced and sliced and cut all of the fresh ingredients that we retrieved from the grocery store. And now, as you have sliced your fresh avocado, you take the seed out, grab the sliced avocado, and you just gotta dig like a big potato or a boat. And you take the guac that's inside and you put that into the bowl. A little fun fact is that av avocados are very high in fibers, so you'll be having a very healthy treat knowing that you made it all by yourself. And now what you gotta do is you have to take your spoon or any uh, mixing device that you're using and you have to mush it, mush all the guac or the green stuff in the inside the avocado until it forms a bit of a, a smushy paste. When it's the freshest of groceries you want, try your local farm fresh in Picosa. They're always there to help you. And there's one of them now. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll you. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're going to make healthy food, it starts in the market. No. With only the finest ingredients. No. Okay. Right? Where'd you learn how to make your black mold? I'll just lie. It's only two of them. Okay, what do we got there? Tomatoes? Okay, what else? Follow. He's picking out only the best ingredients. Stop building. Stop. Stop. It's for the project. No, you don't do that. I've already lost that in Google. Let me know. Why don't you? Oh, we got an onion at home. Right. Yeah. Stop building. To trees tasty treats we had a great time while you were gone so here's what we did we mushed up our guac I, I used the crab mallet because it gets right in there and a fun fact if you don't want to eat your guacamole that day you can put it in the refrigerator with the seeds in it so it keeps from turning brown or you can put some onions in there to also keep it from turning brown. Now, let's add all the ingredients. First, we're taking our uh, jalapenos. Now we're taking our tomatoes. Now, we're taking some cilantro. Now, cilantro is a very spi um, uh, complicated 
uh, thing to work with. So if it gets too intense for you, then you can take some out. Now we're taking some onions. And now we're taking some limes. I'm going to use two, but you can add as many as you'd like. And don't just put these in, you have to squeeze them. And now, add some spices to your liking. In our family, we like to get spicy, so we're using some Tabasco sauce, some paprika, some coriander, and some cumin. Sunday, 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 here at Honest Olson's Used Cars, we have a wide selection of vehicles ready for you to drive off the lot. From hybrids to SUVs, to quick commuters cars all must go and what for the first customer on we've got a boat ready to go on the Chesapeake so come one come all Sunday 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 to Honest Olson's used cars see you then oh I didn't see you there I was just mixing my ingredients together and if you wanted to know hey why should I be making this just know that if you go to the store and just buy some random old store-bought guacamole, you don't know what's in there. You don't know if you're allergic to anything in there. You don't know what's been made. And this is good because you know that everything's healthy. And you know that you're going to love it because you added your own things. Don't feel like cooking tonight? Try Pocosin's Grand China Bistro, where they have delivery and takeout. Ready to order. Phone number. And you might see a familiar face. Hello, welcome to the Grand Chinese Bistro. How may I help you? Oh, hi there. Welcome back to Tree's Tasty Treats. While you were watching that very interesting commercial, we prepared our dish for guests. Well, because you never know when guests are going to arrive, so you always have to be prepared. Ah, yes. Hi. Well, David, I made some guacamole. Try some. All right. That's pretty good guac, Rebecca. Well, thank you. I call it the guachu pichu. You should try it. Kitchen cleanups got you down. Well, I use Comet. I think you should use it too. Comet. It tastes like gasoline, Comet. It makes your teeth turn green, Comet. It makes you vomit. So get some Comet and vomit today. Yay!